now. I cast you down in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of slothfulness go from this page in the name of Jesus. We bind every strong man on here in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, as we accelerate in our prayers, we pray God Almighty for acceleration in speed. Lord God, we pray God for Holy Ghost on fire to cut, Lord God, and to clear the airwaves, to clear the byways, to clear, Lord God Almighty, everything that the enemy has set up. Lord God, every traps, Lord God, every roadblock that the enemy, oh God Almighty, have set. Lord God, we climb through them right now. We run through every wall. We bulldoze down every, oh God Almighty, walls that is set before our prayers. Every hindering spirit that will hinder us, Lord God, from climbing in our prayers. We bind you right now. Every strong man on Facebook, every strong man on, 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 on internet land, we bind you in the name of Jesus. Father, as I come in your presence, Lord God, I pray right now, God, that you will clear the airwaves, clear the airwaves, clear the airwaves in the mighty name of Jesus. Clear it, Lord God. Rabba Sataya in the mighty name of Jesus. Yerere Shako Torobosha Ribandrobushi and I Recretereba Shataya Rabo Sandiai in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pull down every stronghold right now in the first and second heavens. We bind every principality, every power, every rulers of darkness. Lord God, right now, we subdue self. Lord God Almighty, we rebuke sleep. We rebuke slumber in the name of Jesus. We rebuke, oh God Almighty, slothfulness, the spirit of the snail in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind you up in the name of Jesus right now. And we call forth acceleration and speed to our prayers. Oh God Almighty, right now, God, we pray, God, that as we pray, that the, as we pray, oh God, that our prayers will cut like a two-edged sword of the Lord. Oh God, right now, we put on your own armor, mighty God. We put on your breastplate of righteousness. We have our feet shod with the preparation of your gospel of peace. Oh God Almighty, right now, Jesus, let your word, oh God, cut to the bone, the marrow, and the mind of every man in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, tonight as we come in your presence, we pray, oh God Almighty, against every my, oh God Almighty, my way syndrome in the name of Jesus Christ. Every self-righteousness. Oh God Almighty, you said in your word that God, my righteousness is like filthy rags, oh God. Lord God, right now, Lord Jesus, as I come in your presence, Lord God, we come against Lord God self. We come against self, oh God. We subdue self. Self be subjected to the spirit of God. Every spirit of self. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, be subdued to the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of self, be subjected to the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, Lord God, as we come in your presence, Lord, Lord God, we place each, we place ourselves before you. Lord God, sanctify us another time, Lord God. Oh God Almighty, blot out our transgressions. Oh God Almighty, cleanse us, oh God, from all our wicked ways. Lord God, oh God, search me, oh God, and try me, oh God. See if there be any wicked ways in me. Oh God Almighty, and set me free. Oh Lord God Almighty, we thank you. Lord God, every evil, monitoring agent right now every witch every wizard every warlock every crawling insect every evil bird every evil fish lord god almighty every marine lord god 
that right now God Almighty is in operation in the four corners of the earth. We bind them up in the name of Jesus. We cause them to be trampled under our feet now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, surround us right now. Let your light, oh God Almighty, guide us and protect us. Let your blood, oh God Almighty, protect us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, let your fresh oil flow from us, flow from our lips in the mighty name of Jesus. As we soar like eagle in our prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me say welcome to each and every one of you that is joining the prayer line right now. Um, greetings to you. Welcome to Georgia Can't Hide the Truth, End Time Ministries, Midnight Prayer, where tonight we will be praying against My Way Syndrome. My Way Syndrome. We will be praying against the My Way Syndrome. What you would, you would ask me, woman of God, what you mean by my way syndrome? Well, it starts with my, my as in me. Oh God, my as in me personally, Lord God Almighty, me. You know, so this is not to look on anybody. This is not to look on your husband, to look on your wife, to look on any of your children, to look on your pastor, anybody. But the focus should be on you right now. The focus should be on me right now. You know, focus your focus on yourself. I am focusing on me and you should focus on you. My way. When he's saying about my way, you know they have a statement that says, it's either you do it my way or no way at all. You know, some persons, they have that. They say that all the day long. Is either you do things my way or you don't do it at all. Yes, some of us have developed this type of syndrome where if we don't get it done our way, it cannot be done. Well, tonight I want to speak to you about the my way syndrome. What do I, what am I talking about when I say my way syndrome? Well, a syndrome is a group of symptoms which consistently occur together or a condition characterized by a set of associated symptoms. What am I saying? A syndrome is a group of symptoms which consistently, meaning it will happen over and over again. It is a pattern, Lord Jesus Christ. And it occur together or a condition characterized by a set of associated symptoms. Meaning all of the symptoms is alike. It doesn't matter how things change. It doesn't matter how the time change. It doesn't matter how the hour change. It doesn't matter how the person change. But this symptom is associated, is characterized with a set of associated symptoms. A characteristic combination of opinion, your opinion, your emotions, and your behavior. That is what the syndrome, my way syndrome is. I could remember when, you know, I was a child and, you know, when your mother talking to you, she directing you and tonight i was talking to sister natasha about the same thing where you know as parents sometimes you speak to your children or our parents speak to us and we tell them listen this is the way to go go this way go this way but us in our little you know um force ripe self you know we believe that no we know it all we believe that we should go down this road because this road is the road to go down and that is the road to go down. And if it's not this way, then it's no way at all. Well, let me tell you something. This tonight is our attitude and character 
to the things of God. God is trying to talk to us. God is trying to relate to us. God is trying to direct us down a certain road. But we have become stiff-necked. Stiff we have become stubborn, set in our own ways. And we tell God that, listen, I am not going to do things your way, God. I'm going to do things my way. Some of you, some of us, God is trying to tell us, Sister Natasha, Sister Georgia, that route, your route, is not the best route. But we still decide within ourselves, Friends of Georgia, Can't Hide the Truth, End Time Ministry, we still take it upon ourselves to do things our way. Because we believe that, you know, we know it all. You ever see a teenager? Sometimes when you look at your own teen for the parents that are watching, you know, teenagers, they behave like they know everything. They will go down a certain way and they will do things a certain way because they believe that it is the right way. You understand? But at the end of the day, even me as a teenager, you could look into that and say, no way. The way that I choose as a teen, it wasn't a good one. Well, this is the same syndrome that I'm talking about in the body of Christ. The same syndrome is affecting us. And it is causing us to lose out on our blessing. So tonight, we want to pray against this spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. You know, and we come, we, we come in tonight to pray against it. Because it is not good. This spirit will cause you to lose out on your blessing. This spirit will stagnate you. This spirit will, 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 um, will stop your growth and development in God. So it's a very dangerous spirit. And one of the, 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 the spirit that should, is, is, is one of the hardest to cast out is when it has to deal with you, yourself. It is easy for you to deliver someone with an external kind of demon but when it comes on to a person an individual that one is harder you know why because the person has to come to a place of acceptance where they decide that you know what it's time for me to let go of this thing i know deliverance minister cannot deliver you from yourself you have to come to your own conclusion, come to your own state of mind and decide that, you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough of myself and I need not to continue in this condition. Oh, glory to God. So we want to excel in prayer. We want to excel in prayer because God is a God of compassion and grace and mercy. So the book of St. Luke chapter um, 18 and 18 speaks about this young ruler. And it reads, and a certain ruler asked him, good master. So there was this young ruler. And he came to Jesus and he asked Jesus, he said to, to Jesus, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one that is God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, all these have I kept from my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, 
How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Then Peter said, Lo, we have all, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left. There is no man that has left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come life everlasting? So we are seeing here that Jesus was approached by this young ruler and he was also he was also consulted by his disciples and they 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 they, they the young ruler came to Jesus and said to him that he asked a question, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? But the thing about it is he called Jesus good. This young ruler called Jesus good and Jesus said to him, listen to me. Why? Are you calling me good? None is good save one. That is God. You might be here on this prayer line and you're saying that. You don't know why. Things are happening to you. Things are occurring in your life and you don't deserve it because you are good. You put yourself on a petty stool because you feel like you have reached. You have reached the top of being good. But Jesus observed Jesus with his with his 2020 vision observed this young man and with a spirit of discernment he said to him yes yet lackest thou one thing Sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come follow me. Today I do the life and one of the parts of the life that says that we must not store up treasures here on earth where moth and rust does, where, where moth and rust corrupt. But we must store up our treasures in heaven. Where moth and rust does not corrupt. So here it is that Jesus is saying to this young man. There is something you lack. Sell all that you have. And give it to the poor. The Bible said when this man heard this thing. He was very sorrowful. For he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And then Jesus went to describe a camel going through a needle eye. 
than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. I am not about the rich part, the rich man part. I am about the part that say that yet lackest thou one thing. You might be going through some things and you might be saying that you're good. You're perfect. You have reached where you ought to reach. But even Jesus, the good master, Jesus, the man who never sinned, he said to him, I am not good. There is just one that is good. I'm just saying this for us to look in ourselves. Because there's a syndrome going around. <coughs> That is affecting the body of Christ. And this syndrome is self-righteousness. This syndrome is my way syndrome. You believe that if it is not your way, it's no way at all. This young ruler wanted to do things his way. He concluded the whole matter. About how from he was a child until now, he did not do adultery, did not do this, he did not do that. And so he saw himself <coughs> in a position to gain something from Jesus. But Jesus knows us better than how we even know ourselves. What am I saying? Some of us, we need to stop the blame. Stop pointing fingers. And begin to turn by the finger on yourself. <coughs> begin to work on yourself. Begin to see God for yourself. Instead of seeking God for someone else, seek God about yourself. Because sometimes we have some things in us. And we are blinded by our praise, our attendance in church. We are blinded by our tongues that we speak in. We are blinded by the good that we do. We are blinded by the giving that we give. But yet we lack something. And that one thing that you lack. That one thing that the Holy Spirit is asking you to give up. Is the same thing that is causing you not to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Just that one thing. So I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't matter. How you have kept the commandments and do this and do that. There can be just one thing. There is just one thing in your life that will hinder you from inheriting the kingdom of heaven. And that is yourself, my, me. Shaka Tarabaya Shata. I come again. Self-centeredness in me in the name of Jesus. I come against self-centeredness in me. I come against the my in me. The my way syndrome in me. I command you to be subdued in the name of Jesus. The my way syndrome in me has to be subjected to the spirit of God. Because if it is not subjected to the spirit of God, I will not inherit eternal life. I will not get my treasures in heaven. 
So every spirit that is in me right now, that is not of God, I command you in the name of Jesus to leave. My syndrome, my way syndrome is going to get me in trouble. So it can't remain in my life anymore. Rako Todobo Shandai. My righteousness is like filthy rags, Lord. Lord God, my righteousness is like filthy rags. Lord God, tonight, this midnight hour, show me the areas in my life, Lord God. Where I've become self-centered. Let me examine myself, Lord God. Like David that said, let me examine myself. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart, I pray. See if there be any wicked ways in me. See if there be any self-centered ways in me. Search me, O God. Lord Jesus Christ. Self, you will not prevent me from inheriting my heavenly treasure. Self, you will not hinder me from reaching my heavenly goal. Self, you will not stop me from climbing. In Jesus, self, you will not stop me from growing in Christ. I cast down the spirit of my way. Holy Spirit locating me right now, every spirit of my way. Every spirit of my way that is in me. Every spirit of me that is leading and directing my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cast you down. Be subjected right now to the spirit of God in my life. I need to grow. I need to develop. Lord God, every stiff nakedness, neck, neckness that is in me, every deaf ears that is in me, oh God, I pray, oh God Almighty, that you will blot out my transgressions. Blot out my transgressions right now, Father. Like David, oh God. Give ear unto our prayers, O oh God Almighty. O oh God, every self-righteousness that is within me, O oh God. I pray right now, O oh God, for it to be removed from my life. Hear my cry, O oh God. Attend unto my prayer. Oh God, from the end of the earth, I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle, O oh God, forever. 
I will trust in the covert of thy wings. For thou, O oh God, has heard my bows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name, O oh God. Abide with me, O oh God, abide with me. Hear my voice this midnight hour, O oh God. Save me from myself. Save me from myself. Save me, O oh God Almighty. Hide me, O oh God Almighty, from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection, O oh God Almighty, of the workers of iniquity. O oh God, thou art my God. Lord, I don't want self to get in the way of my relationship with you. Lord God, I don't want me to prevent, oh God Almighty, my growth and development in you. So save me from myself, Lord God. Let every self-righteousness in me, oh God, be put away in the name of Jesus. Hear my prayer. My soul thirsts for thee, O oh God. Be thou not far away from me, Daddy God. My flesh longeth for thee, O oh God. I am in a dry and a thirsty land, O oh God. Where no water is. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I want to see your power and your glory be manifested in my life. Lord, save me from myself. Save me from myself. Oh God, let me acknowledge my wrongs. Lord God, let me see my wrongs. Father God, help me to see my ways. And let me change. Oh God, I do not want to be like this rich young ruler that go away vexed and sore. But God, I want when you correct me, I will listen and take your correction. Give me help, oh God. Help me, oh God, in the days of my struggles. Save me, oh God, by thy name. And judge me, oh God, by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O oh God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Do not shut your ears unto my prayer, O oh God Almighty. I cry out to you tonight. Attend unto me, my Father. Lord, be merciful unto me. God, be merciful unto me. Let your grace guide and protect me. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God Almighty, You ask the David, you ask the psalmist David, do he speak righteousness 
Oh congregation, do he judge uprightly? Oh, he sons of men. Yea, in heart, he work wickedness. He wear the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Lord God, do not let me go down in the pit with the wicked. Lord God, do not refrain me, O oh God, from inheriting your kingdom because of myself. Let self be slain and let your spirit arise in me, holy God. Deliver me, O oh God, from myself. Deliver me, O oh God, from self-righteousness and create in me a clean heart. Renew your right spirit within me because my righteousness is like filthy rags. I said I will take heed to my ways. That I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle. While the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from God and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burned. Then spake I with my tongue. Lord made me to know mine end. And the measure of my days. What it is. That I may know how frail I am. Behold thou hast made. My days. As an hand breath. And my age. Is as nothing before thee. Verily every man. At his best state is altogether vanity. Vanity, vanity. Surely every man walketh in a vain shoe. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions, Lord. Make me the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth. Because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. When thou. With rebukes. Dost correct man for iniquity. Thou makest his beauty. To consume like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Hear my prayer O Lord. And give ear unto my cry. Hold thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner as all my fathers were. Oh, spare me, that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Rakatarabaya sata. Yatalaba satarabaya shata. 
My way syndrome, you will not prevent me from inheriting my heavenly treasure. You will not prevent me. You got to pray. Say self-righteousness. You will not prevent me from inheriting my heavenly treasure. I will not lose out on my heavenly treasure because of self. Because of the way that I want to do things my way. I will do things God's way. Self, I submit you to God's way. Speak to yourself. Slap yourself. Tell self. Command self. Be subjected to the spirit of God's self. Flesh, you will not drag us to hell. Self, you will not drag us to hell. Masha Torobo Shekete. Rekete Reba Sata. Rubanda Reba Shekondai. Spirit of anger within me, you will not drag us to hell. Spirit of unforgiveness in me, you will not drag us to hell. Spirit of lukewarmness in me, you will not drag us to hell. Oh God. Oh God, you will not drag us to hell. My way syndrome. You will not drag us to hell. Yele Satorabanda. For I am a vessel of God. My righteousness is filthy rags. You will not drag us to hell, self-righteousness. You will not drag us to hell in the name of Jesus Christ. One of the hardest battles to fight is with yourself. The only person that could prevent you from reaching somewhere is yourself. Shakandili basataya. Your most threatening enemy is yourself. Shakondrobosha. So you have to you have to come out of yourself. And begin to see yourself in God. If it's not been for his grace and mercy. Then we would have all been consumed. <laughs> We're praying an introspection prayer. There is none that is good. Jesus said to the young ruler, there is none that is good. No matter how people are coming against you, you have a responsibility to search yourself. To see if there is any wicked ways in you. And as you search yourself, you will see that there's a lot inside there that needs to come out. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. We thank you for all that you're about to do. Lord God Almighty, I pray tonight that God we will begin to see you and not ourselves. We will not reason why we do this and why we do that. 
but that God, we will come to the truth that God, I am a change for myself. I will change myself. I will turn around and serve God in spirit and in truth. Do not fall into the trap of self-exaltation. We come against that right now in the name of Jesus. Do not fall into the trap. And I pray that none of you here will fall into the trap of self-exaltation. I pray that none of you will fall into the trap of saying that you're righteous, you're righteous in every way. I pray that none of you will fall into the trap of saying that you are good, good, good. That is a trick of the enemy. That is a trick of the enemy. And like David, we will worship the Lord. We will bow before him in worship and in praise. We will repent of our wicked ways and change. All of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, oh glory to God, oh glory to God, oh God we give you thanks. Father God, give us the grace tonight to forgive those who have trespassed against us. Give us the grace tonight, Lord, to forgive those who have trespassed against us. Because this is your prayer, this is your word to us, that we must forgive those that have trespassed against us. Those that have offended us. Let us pardon them. I pray that you will give us the, 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 the utterance and the willingness to forgive wholeheartedly and move on. Because my righteousness and your righteousness is like filthy rags. I cast off the my way syndrome from off of my life. I will not continue to do things my way, but I will submit my ways to the ways of God. I will not become self-indulgent. I burn every egg. I burn every egg. Of my way syndrome. I cut off the head of every snake. Of my way syndrome. In the name of Jesus. And I pray right now Lord. That God. You will be exalted. In my life. In our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. We bless the name of Jesus. All of my worship. Here is my worship. All of my worship. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There is none that is good. My righteousness is like filthy rags. 
All of us have fall short of the glory of God. It is only by grace 